All right, good morning, everybody. Today is Dab Yud Ches. Yes. Today is Dab Yud Ches, and we are discussing. We get to go swimming in the Yam Shilkor. So, yes, we were discussing. So yes, they were discussing um, the differences between somebody who um, somebody who was a tahor, he became tame, and then his nazir is broken up. He has to go ahead and wait seven days. He has to uh, shave his head. And then on the eighth day, he goes ahead, he brings his karbonos, and he restarts his, his count. Versus somebody who basically started their Naziris in a cemetery, so it didn't start immediately. So he doesn't go ahead and bring karbonos because he didn't go ahead and, and break right a Naziris. So he's not obligated to bring karbonos. Obviously, he has to wait seven days and goes taller again. And the question was, does he shave his head or not? That was one. That was the question that we were still handling, trying to figure out. So let's see. Tashma, two lines from the top on Yudchesim and Aleph. Tashma, come and listen. The Pasuk says, uh, the Raish Nizro. So, and he is, and he, and he comes tame, right? And he becomes tame. So, the Pasuk over there, Shrek, thank you very much, is talking about somebody who was tame as an Azir, and then he became, uh, then he became, he was tame, then he became tame. Right, he was tame, then he became tame. Shanitma, Hakazam Dabir. Shatayin Havar Zeh, Rabbi Abbas Tzipor, and believe to us, and not, uh, uh, it's Tzipor. He has to go ahead and remove his hair and then and, and, and cut his nails, right? So he has to do all of those things in order to go ahead and, I guess, become Torah. Leave us another Nazir and it also comes to path there is somebody who was basically became a Nazir in a cemetery. He does not require removing his hair or his nails. And Valoy Dvaran Kavachemir, Shri Kavachemir. Nails, uh, birds, excuse me, Sipur, the, the bird offering. So, like, yeah, like, oh, the thing that's called the by Mitzvah. Right. So, over here, Right, so uh, talking about to, to go ahead and bring his uh, his his bird offerings, right? The uh, the, the, the 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 two birds that he brings, but even his tabe, he has to bring his asham. He has to bring a um, uh, 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 katus ola. So ma torshenito talon havar seir v'tziporin. So just like over there, the tower that he becomes tummy, he requires to go ahead and remove his hair and to bring his tziporin. And so misha ya tummy mitchila eno din she yatan havar seir v'avat tziporin. So isn't it obvious someone who was telling the beginning she had to go ahead and bring it? Tom Leimer, therefore, it says, the Time Reish Nizra. It says over there that he becomes Tame. Someone was Tame becomes Tame. So Nizra. Right? So there, therefore, it's referring to somebody who was already Tame. It says, the Nizra, he becomes Tame. I'm a lot of it. So talking about somebody who the nitma he becomes tame right we learned that he was tahor so now was the pasuk was only tahor. who's it talking about to remove your hair only someone who was tahor then became tame but if he started off tame it doesn't include it right but bishay tahor the nitma so I call the dab bishay tahor and I've heard the say I've heard the tiparim who leaves there as a nazir bekever therefore path there is somebody a nazir bekever shmami na and he learned from here so therefore we come to a, to a conclusion that that whole pasuk we're talking about uh, bringing the kabbanos and also including the bringing the kabbanos is also removing your hair is only for tigalacha only referring to somebody who started off tower and then became tombe but if you started off in a state of tuma i.e a person who's makabal nazir is in a base of then such a person would be putter that does not have to go ahead and remove his hair but period so, it's not just a person in the cemetery, it's anybody who's coming based. When he's macabre in his ears. Yes. So, Montana, because we learned over there that the person becomes Tame, Masha has to be Tara first. Now, Montana, huh? Who is the other? This is Tanra Bhutan? Ain't Bay Tame. Right. Ain't Bay Tame, Shanazar. There is no difference between somebody who is macabre, Nazirus. Betuma, i.e., let's say a person in the base of Kvaros, the Nazir Tahar Shanita to a Nazir who was Tahar and then he became Tame. Shatame Shanazar Shvi Shala Ila Minaminion, that a person who was uh, uh, became started his Nazirus in the base of Kvaros, right? Tame Shanazar, his seventh day, that seventh day counts towards day one. 
However, a Nazir who became Tower, or who was Tower, and then he became Tame, who basically you have to go ahead and restart it. He doesn't begin to count until his eighth day, until the day you bring the Karbanos. So I'm Rav Chiza, says Rav Chiza, Rabbi, this is the sheet of Rabbi. We're going to have my Rabbi and Rabbi Yisrael Yehuda. The Amma Rabbi, a Naziris Tahira Chalo El Ad Shmini. According to Rabbi, the Naziris Tahira is only Chalo Ad Shmini. The eighth day. All right. So according to Rabbi, it's the eighth day. And therefore, it actually comes out good because in a regular scenario, which is Tar Shanitma, right? A person was he started as Naziris, then he became Tame, then he has to restart it. So it says only on the eighth day. So therefore, the seventh day does not count. So therefore, this goes according to Rabbi. Right? Because according to Rabbi Yehuda, he holds the seventh day you begin counting with a regular guy with Tar Shanitma. So in our our bride, so was saying seven, that on seven, the eighth seven. day, right? No, 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 no. Someone was tower, right? No, he, Rabbi Yosef, Rabbi Yehuda, holds a regular case. First was a Nazir, became Tame. He has to restart it. Right. He restarts it on the seventh day. So sure. this Bryce is saying a regular person who, who has to restart it, you only starting to be Yama Shmini, mm-hmm. then it goes according to Rabbi. And now Rabbi Yosef, Yehuda, because Rabbi Yosef, Yehuda, holds the seventh day. And what is this machlekes based on? Samai Rebbe, my Rebbe Yosef Yehuda, the Tani with an Raisa. The pasuk says, "Now this is pasuk Yud Aleph." The pasuk over there in Bemidra, the, the parsha uh, of Nazir it says, "Vikibe Shesreisha Bayom Ahu." Right. So this is talking about a Kohen that becomes ta- or, excuse me, a Nazir. One second, that becomes Tamei. So the Yasa Kohen Echad the Chadas Avechal Eila Vichiper Alav Measher Chata Al Nefesh. The kiddush is Rosh Hashanah. Sounds the kiddush. Excuse me. And he goes and he brings his 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 karbanos, and then he's kiddush. And then he becomes kiddush by Yom Ahu, right? So the kiddush is Rosh Hashanah. Yom Ahu. So by Yom Ahu, the Yom Ahu karbanos. Karbanos of Divi Rabbi. Divi Rabbi. It says Rabbi. It says over there. The pasuk says he brings his karbanos, which is on day eight, and then and then and then he sanctifies and he starts his nizirus again on day eight. That's Rabbi's opinion. Mm-hmm. Well, he says no it's referring to the day by Yom who's referring to the the day of the shaving his head on the seventh day in other words when you come tummy mm-hmm. you count seven days seven day you shave your head day eight you bring your kabbas all right according to, to Rebbe, and when you restart your nazirus mm-hmm. on day eight according to israel Yehuda, no no by Yom who's referring to when you shave your head day seven that's when you start the count I bought Tanan. We learned uh, the the other Tanan, and that which we uh, we, uh, we learned the Mishnah. Nazir Shanitma Tumas Harbe, Eino Mevi El Karbanacha. So Nazir, who became Tame many times, in other words, he becomes Tame. He's about to go ahead and becomes Tower. He's going to bring us Karbanas. Does Tame again? So he has to go ahead and wait count the seven days. He's about to go ahead and bring us Karbanas. Becomes Tame again. So, what's this case? It's another Shani that was Harbe, Ainu Mavi El Karbanacha, Samantan was a Tana. I'm going to have Fizda, Rabbi Yesi Bar Yehudi. That's Rabbi Yesi Bar Yehudi. The Amar Nazir Stahira Mishvi, right? Right? Because he holds that you restart your count, your Tahara on day seven. Umishkaka's luck is going Shani to Abishvi, because of Nita Abishvi. Because every on the seventh day you become Tahar, and then, but you don't have your obligation to be your Kabbalos. So therefore, so you can actually become Tahor and become Tame again. And you, you can do that multiple times by becoming Tame on each on seven day apart, right? Mm-hmm. And, and all that at the end, you only require one set of Kabbalos because you never enter the, the eighth day obligated a different set of, karba, uh, of, of Kabbalos. So, uh, so therefore, right, like, since he never got to the eighth day while he was Tahor, he's only Chayim one set of Kabbalos for the tomb. There's continuation of the first. Detema Rabbi, he, because if you say, right, so if, yeah, his obligation, Detema Rabbi, because he didn't say it's according to Rabbi, he, he, if you're talking about a case of where he became Tame and this it keeps repeating, becomes Tame on every seventh day, he never became Tor. It's obvious he only brings one set of, uh, of Kabbalos. And if we're talking about where he came Tame on every eighth day, so he comes to the morning, as soon as the morning begins, 
he's obligated to bring those karbanos. If he comes Tomei on the eighth day, then once he becomes Torah again, he has to bring two sets of the karbanos. The one he brought, he's supposed to bring last time that he didn't bring the first thing in the morning. And now, and now the one, the second one. So that was that case, that mission over there in Croesus. Fine. There's now. Gets in contact on the sixth day, starts the seven days all over again. Uh, yeah, person's telling me it's right when he has the days three and seven, he just starts over. But there, there's no carbonos, right? But a person's just regular, it's the only if a person, right? This is telling me during the zeros. Fine, now, so my time of the Rebbe. So what was, let's go back to Rebbe for a second. What was the reason going to Rebbe? Omar Karla Pazak says, V'chiter alav me'ashir chata ala nefesh. All right? The Pazak says, V'chiter, right? V'chiter is referring to kapara atonement, right? Atonement is your kabbalas, right? It says, V'chiter alav me'ashir chata. He gets atonement for that which he sinned, ala nefesh. V'chiter alav me'ashir chata. is right And then he's Mekadesh himself, right? He knows he begins as Nazirus, according to Rebbe, eighth day. Rabbi Yisrael, who does would say to that, in Cain, if that's the case, just say, okay, he brings his kavaz v'chiper, right, and then says v'kidesh is rosh and the pasuk bayoy mahu lamali. Why didn't say bayoy mahu? Right, sounds like extra bayoy mahu lamali. He made it in the shmini. So I already would assume logically, you bring your atonement, and then v'kidesh is rosh referring to the same day you brought your atonement. They ate. So I say by Yomahu, that's extra. He made it in the Lemishmini. If it's not telling me the eighth day, because I don't need it, because if you just take it out, then I would assume the eighth day. So it's in the therefore it's telling me by Yomahu is referring to the day of the shaving the head, which is actually the day before. The Rebbe. I Rebbe now you have to see by Yomahu. So it seems a little superfluous, extra. Why did you say it? why so why is it coming to teach you that? Right? No, this is what I'm telling you. The Lamalukha Afishlavi Kabaransa. It's telling by Yamahu on that day, even if you weren't Vikhip here yet, you didn't bring your uh, your, your kabanas, you restart the count. So you restart the count the moment you're supposed to bring the kabanas. Uh fine. Now, Rabhis the Sarabhisa. So we had the Brysa we, we brought in a couple times yesterday. Yesterday, and we brought it today. It says, okay, who is this Brysa uh, that says if it's a if you if a Nazir that started off Tame, so he begins his count on day seven, but a Nazir who was Tower then became Tame, he goes ahead and he starts to and, he, and the, the, the seventh day does not count for him, only the eighth day. So who is that? We said that is according to the opinion of um uh Rabbi Yasir Yehuda. Excuse me, according to Rabbi. I don't know. He's a my duka luka. He says Rabbi Yisrael Yehuda, right? Because he says you start the count on day seven. So I don't know. He's a my duka luka. My Rabbi Yisrael Yehuda luka. Why don't you say because it is kagayin denitma the chazia bilel shmini the Rabbi he. Why don't you say like this? They really were talking about a case of it's not seven days, it's not day seven. It's rather into the it's the eight it's the eighth night. In other words, it's, it's the night following day seven. Right, the night is part of the next, the following day. So let's say he became Tame at night. Right, so then you could say mm -hmm. that the this is the scenario where it's already uh, the Yamashmini on the Nita Chazia Belal Shmini, the Rebbe, as according to Rebbe. Now Midalay Mukim Lokim Rebbe by the fact he didn't say this is according to Rebbe. Lamech Savi must hold Lila Lav Mechuser Lila Lav Mechuser Zmanim. Right, that night. Right is not right is not a lacking of time. In other words, you, there's, there's a question like this: Is night not the time of atonement yet? And and therefore, in, in other words, and anything that's dependent on the time when you're supposed to be the kabbonos has not arrived yet. In other words, if we're going to go ahead and link when you restart counting your nazirus to when you when when is the zman of the carbon? So what, how do we look at the night that precedes the day? Is that night really part of the time? It's just lacking. I can't, te technically I can't bring it at night, but really it's the zman of it. Or do we say that it's not yet arrived the time of the korban? The time of the korban is only in the morning. So which one is it? Is it mechus or zman or not? Right? So by the fact we didn't want to say it's Rebbe and it's really, right? It's, it's not the day that you stop, begin the count. 
So I mean, uh, so by the fact you didn't say Bechud is Vanu, so so I'm Rabbah Rabbah says no. How about I tell you? It's the same thing. Iamarta Lila Mechusers Man. If you say that the night is lacking time, in other words, it's not time for the Kabbalos. That the Ema mixes the carbon. So when is the when is the time of the carbon? Let's safra. That's the morning. So Nazirus not only has the time. Therefore, the Nazirus begin the beginning of the count is also in the morning. Can you postpone the carbon? In other words, start. It's complete your zeros and postpone the comma. Complete, what's that? We're not talking about completing your zeros. We're talking about completing your days of Tuma in right. order to restart your zeros. Right, but I'm saying if you complete it, now I owe Corman, right? So I yes. would say, I can't you, give the Corman, I owe a Corman and start the second. Uh, then they say, it, well, it doesn't uphold it, but you have an obligation to go ahead and bring it. And I was, you already started your, your no, zeros, already exactly. started. No. You already have those, you serve of Chalapani, yeah. as we see over here. Right, the noon of zero already starts the moment it's the zman of the korban. The zman of the korban is 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 sunrise in the morning. So that's when you start your noon of zeros. You didn't bring it in the morning, okay? But you still in no, You didn't you bring it that day. Starting the zeros and saying I will bring the korban next week. You're supposed to bring it that day. Which was that day? Right. <laughs> if, so if you, you don't do it, you, you didn't do it. Completed. If you didn't do it, you didn't do it. But it doesn't stop anything. It doesn't stop anything. Right. You didn't have mincha today. You're supposed to have mincha. Okay, I'll have him tomorrow. Okay, but you didn't do today. Right? Well, it's a little different. Fine, it's an obligation. Uh -huh. to now, via Marta Lila, and if you hold via Marta Lila, if you hold that night is not considered, mm -hmm. right, not the time. It really night is fit for the time. It just technically, I can't go ahead and bring him carbon at night. No. Then, the zero's tower, then you'd say also that the zero starts at a night. So, in other words, you can't really find a situation where it's the, considered to be the zman of the carbon. And right, uh, uh, where you don't go ahead and uh, begin the Nazir's count, so you only begin the Nazir's count once the time of the carbon. So, if you hold the time of the carbon is, begins at night, but technically you can't bring it, therefore the Nazir's start at night. And if you hold it in the morning, then it's in the morning. And therefore, either way, he has to go ahead and not explain it, uh, according to uh, uh, Rebbe, Rebbe says, Rebbe is um, uh, in terms of when you go ahead and begin now, yeah, that goes on day seven. That's day seven, shaving his head. So it's not the same day as the carbon. Correct. Even though the, the hair has to go under the pot of the... It's not part of it. Right. Correct. That's, that's a Yom HaShvi. Now, Gufa, they mentioned earlier. So what was the case? Nitma, the Shvi, the Chazer. So now this is the case of the thing from Croesus. Now, Nitma, the Shvi, the Chazer, the Nitma, the Shvi, and the Mivit El Karban Echad. He only goes ahead and brings one carbon. So he comes, Tameh on the 7th, right? That means Karban because that's day 8. He becomes Tameh on the 7th. He goes, but once again, comes to me on the seventh, comes on the seventh, eight, he only brings one set of karbanos. All right. Now, Nitma Bishmini, if he goes ahead and he is Tame on the eighth day, because of Nitma Bishmini, maybe karbanos, then each day he goes, he has to go ahead and, um, and, and the bring, uh, or for every time he has to bring a set of karbanos for each set uh, of, of time he gave him Tame, right? Because it restarted at the morning of that. Umaynamiyad. And he counts immediately. He counts immediately. That wasn't money. I mean, actually, it's, it's into what we said a couple of days ago. If you recall in the Mishnah, we had a sheet of Rabbi Yezer. He says, hmm. in order to break up mm -hmm. the Naziris and be obligated to carbon, you have to you have to have you have to ruin days of Naziris. In other words, mm -hmm. it can't be day one. So if I'm a Kabul, the Zeros, and then within an hour in the same day, I'm not high of the Karbanos. Because it says you may, uh, it says you may. So it's Dates. So, so it's not, but you, you're telling me you don't have to make Karbanos then. Cool. Right? But, in other words, so according to over here, the only way to be obligated, right, a second time is not if you come tell me on the day seven, because day seven is considered to be the, the first day of the count. You have to be day eight to be obligated to do a set of Karbanos. So according to Rebbe Leezer, you count seven days, all right? You shave your head. You begin your new count of the zeros on that day. The next day, you become Tommy again, and you're supposed to be in the Carbonos on the eighth day. But now that's already day two for the new Naziris. Now, since it's already day two, it's new, it's days. Therefore, you'd also be obligated to bring a carbon for those days. And then the same thing, you repeat if it goes on that. So therefore, that's according to Abiezer, you bring a new set as long as it is on day eight, because day eight is day two, and day two is multiple days, because it's day seven was day one, day eight is day two, and therefore you have to be another set of uh, carbonos. 
Ad Shiyabi Khatasa. How say now? It's still considered to be all under the umbrella of the first tuma until you bring the khatas, right? Until the khatas is brought, right? You, uh, it's not considered to be the old set is over. So therefore, as long as, even if I became Tommy in the morning on day eight, I would not have to bring a new set because I didn't bring the khatas yet. Once you bring the khatas, even if I didn't bring the asham or the ola, I'm obligated a new set of kerbaks. Now, hevi chatasa even itma. If he goes out and brings his chatas and he comes tamei vehevi vehevi chatasa venitma. So he says like this: hevi chatasa venitma. If he brought his chatas, then we give tamei vehevi chatasa. He does it again. He brings his chatas venitma. We give tamei. Maybe korban kol echav yachad. He has to bring it every set because once again, instead of the cutoff point being the time where it's fit to go ahead and bring kerbanos, he goes now. The cutoff point is once you bring the chatas. And however, but if he brought his khatas and he doesn't bring his ashama, then then he is he goes out and he counts new, it's a new set. However, just like it's not considered to be the end of the previous stage of Tuma, right? Cain uh so to the asham, right? So to the asham that's brought, the asham nazir that's brought. Is also does not uh, your, your previous set of carbonos obligation carbonos is not brought until you bring the chadas and the ashram. The ashram is included in that. So therefore, if you didn't bring the ashram yet, you would not bring a new set of carbonos because I never brought the ashram, so I never filled the first one. So therefore, it's all under the umbrella of the first set of carbonos. Now, then you have to bring a second chadas. Lachar, yeah, right. Lachar, yeah, because he you, you right. have to bring the old and the again, but yeah, right. Lachar, according to him. Now, Bishlam of the Rabbi Eliezer Amar Kra, according to the Pasuk says, Vikidesh is Rasha, Vikhule, right? So it says over there, right? So it says, Vikidesh is referring to the Pasuk says, right on the side. There's Pasuk Yid Aleph, right? So you say there, Vikidesh is Rasha, Vikhule, 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 Mentions, all right, I'm just going to read the Pesukah on the side, right? It says, V'yasa koin echel lechatas, v'yechel le'ele, v'chipher ala me'ashir chata, al nefesh v'kidesh v'yashir v'yom ahu. So that says, you bring your chatas, you bring your ola, you get kapara, right? And then you re- restart your nazirus. And then the next Pesuk says, v'hizir l'ashem es yemei nizro v'hevi keves ben shnasa li'ashem. And then the next Pesuk says, you bring your ashem. The other Pesuk was talking about the chatas, and you restart, and now this one seems to bring the Asham. It sounds like it's not all together in one. So yeah, because it comes, it comes later on. So it says, so he says, Amar Khan Ahu Av Bishalay B Kabanaisa. Ima is being his kabanas, says Rabbi Eliezer, you go ahead and restart. According to Rabbi Ezra, it doesn't matter when you bring the kabanas, as long as you have days of Naziris, i.e., day seven is day one, day eight is day two. Therefore, you have to go ahead and request instead of kabanas. Rabban and Ahu Av Bishalay B Ashamo. And Rabbana would say, no, if we see in the Pasuk that you go ahead and you count because it just says you bring your chatas. Ela Rabbi Shmuel, according to Rabbi Shmuel, hahu lamali, why is it by Yom Ahu? If you require all the kabanas, why is it by Yom Ahu? Even though he didn't bring his Ola, you know, it's by Yom Ahu, you brought your chatas, you brought your asham, even though you didn't bring your Ola, it's still considered to be a new uh, zman and therefore it would be a new requirement of, of kabanas. I, Rabbana, I love boy. Uh, because according to the opponent, yes, uh, you don't need a pasuk for the Ola, right? Because the, the Ola is, 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 is a gift, right? To give them tab is not part of atonement, so therefore, it's not something that would be ma'akib. So I don't need a pasuk for that. So I love you, uh, Damiyamu. So my time at the Rabban, what's the going to Rabban in Titania? We learned the Brisa, the Hazir Lashem as uh, the uh, Hazir Lashem as you may Nizro, baby Kevis Ben Shinasu, right? Uh, Ben Shinasu, uh, so, so it says over there, mm-hmm. right? And then he becomes a nazir, and then it says, then he brings his, uh, then he brings his his, his, his sheep offering, right? His goat, okay. right? So Because mm-hmm. we find that throughout the Kol Torah Kula, normally an asham, right? The five cases where there is an asham, right? Where those are miakev, yachalav zem miakva. So too, this would be miakev, considered like he did bring us kabbalos. Therefore, it says tamalaymar. 
Therefore, it says, right, he goes ahead and becomes a Nazir and he brings. So, even though he didn't bring the Ashram yet, then he's there. Then he's still, nevertheless, a Nazir. Now, as it still begins, the new portion he becomes Tameh again before he brings the Ashram, he would require a complete new set of Karbanas. And Rabbi Yishma ben Ashram, Rabbi Yechem, Rabbi Yechem, now it says, the Hezer, the Hevi. So now it's Amos he's here. When is the time where he's, he's here? Bismat Shevi. Only after you bring the Ashram. So therefore, they argue as to whether the uh, Rabbi Shon Ben Ashram, Rabbi Broka, argues the Rabbanan as to whether the Ashram is, is Ma'akev. According to them, it means he's here is connected to Shehevi as a Shamo. And therefore, that uh, only then would it require a set of Kabanas. And the Rabbanan say, no, as long as you bring your Chakas, even if you did not bring your Ashram, then that would require a new set of uh, carbonos. Uh, I will we'll stop here. Wow.